So hello, I'm Helen Maloney. I'm um, an ex-nurse who's a medical rep, single mother um, of a 16 year old and really I'm here today to um, just talk a little bit about the problems that I've had with the council over um, a crossing that uh, I didn't know I needed. Um, so I received a letter in, was it about August last year, um, which came out of the blue. Um, suggesting that I was breaking the law by going onto my driveway. Um, at first I thought it was um, a scam or maybe April Fool's Day, someone was having a joke with me, but when I contacted the council they informed me that um, that was perfectly right. They'd been surveying the pavement and noticed that my drive didn't have a drop curb and that I was breaking the law if I crossed over it to park on my drive. Um, I kind of went into a bit of shock to be honest to start with and then um, became a little bit upset Then I started looking up the street and um, canvassing friends and neighbours as to whether or not they were aware this law was in place because I've lived in the property 12 years and I had no idea. Um, I had noticed when it snowed that I had a little bump to go um, and reverse up my curb, but I hadn't thought that was unusual. Because <laughs> um, my curb, to me, until I examined it closely, looked very similar to everyone else's. Um, but actually, um, when I'd spoken to the council, and my neighbour also got a letter, she uh, looked on some of the official websites and said that that was totally correct. Um, we, we were talking about three centimetres, by the way. Um, that's how high my curb was. Um, so we started the engagement process with the council to negotiate what to do. Um, they sent us a bill that was really confusing actually, so I rang them. Um, I didn't really get very far. Also anyway, after quite a lengthy dialogue with them, including with the manager of the department, we um, agreed on how much we were paying for the crossing and did that and then we got a, um, a really fabulous crossing actually. <laughs> yeah, and I, now I've got one, I notice the difference when I'm reversing onto my drive, it's much smoother. I don't know how I didn't notice, but really I didn't. <laughs> so the reason I'm bringing this into the public domain is not for myself really, but because when I bought this property I already had my drive in place and I really think that um, solicitors and surveyors should just include the crossing, the entrance to the property as part of their um, list of things when they're surveying somewhere and bring it to the attention because I, I probably could have negotiated um, the owner of the property paying for a significant amount of that crossing. Um, and it was quite a bit of money to find just before Christmas and we had three months to pay and it was all at once. Um, so, there we go.